hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is the video series on dotnet 7 web api sql database and vue.js which is a client library and we are going to implement a simple CRUD operation by creating both client side application that is vue.js and server side application that is .NET 7 Web API. So this is a small diagrammatic representation of how single page application works. Okay. So in a single page application, we should contain two application. One is normal JavaScript framework based application like Angular, React or Vue.js. And another thing is any server side application that is api okay so here api depends upon the database for getting the data okay and client application nothing but a javascript application or vue.js application depends upon api to display the data to the client okay so whenever user request first vue.js application gets downloaded onto the user browser okay js files downloads and application gets rendered so in that application there will be a http calls nothing but our api calls so java vue.js application will invoke the api call and that api call internally communicates with the database and fetches the data from the database and return that response to the UJS application then that response gets rendered onto the UI okay so that is the flow of single page application using API okay so first let's try to set up the database okay so for this demo we are using Microsoft SQL database okay search like SQL server download and click on the top link and we are redirected back to this page and you can see here download option okay so choose for developer uh, download setup file okay once download it and install the SQL server file okay so th this will provide only server uh, SQL ser database server in our system okay so to interact with the SQL server, we need to have a nice IDE, integrated development environment. Okay. So for that, Microsoft providing SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio, which is a nice IDE for communicating with the SQL server. Okay. Okay. Such like SQL Server Management Studio download okay and click on the top link so in short term we can call it as ssms which is a sql server management studio which is a rich ide for interacting with the sql server database and here you can see the download option or the download setup link here once you click on the link the setup file gets downloaded and try to install it okay since i already installed SQL Server and SSMS. So once the SSMS is installed, you can see like this, okay, window. So here I am giving my server name. This is my local server name, okay, and I am going to use the Windows authentication, nothing but my credentials authentication, okay. Click on the connect, okay. Here you can see set of options. In that you can see databases. So here. In this database options, we have to add our database. So inside of the database, we can contain tables. Okay. Okay. And to create the database, this is the SQL command for creating the database. Create space database and space specify your database name. Here I specified my database name like my old DB. Okay. So just select this command and click on this execute so that database gets created 
once the database created we have to create the table okay so here is the sql command for creating the table so for this demo i want to display some beautiful beaches okay around the world so i named my table like beach so here the command is like create table and name of your table okay and my table i am i would like to have columns like id okay which is a primary key okay primary key means unique key okay so it will be gets auto incremented i am using identity 1 comma 1 that means auto increment by 1 whenever new record is inserted into the database okay and it should be not nullable column and name of the beach and a place and image url these are my other columns and these are all var cap that means those columns will contain string value and here i have specified my primary key constraint okay so this whole thing makes the query for creating the table okay so for before executing this table make sure to select the desired database you want to add your table okay here i want to add it to my old db and select this query and execute it that's it table gets executed okay since i have already ran those commands so i am directly showing my created database and in here we can see a option like tables if you expand it you can see all your tables that are related to this particular database okay and if i select you can see currently there is no data in my table so it is empty you can see the results table results here okay so that's all about the table structure for our demo next we are going to create the vue.js application 